Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to share a word with you this morning. Um, for a couple weeks ago, even to this week right here, I've been having people, you know, tell me that they had death in the family. Found out this lady passed this morning, you know, and the first thing that came to my mind was, Lord, you know, I hope her soul was right with you. You know, we live this, you know, people, we walk around as if, you know what I'm saying, we here just to be here for no reason. We walk around as if we're going to be here forever. You know, and you got people who are professing believers. They say they don't believe in hell, this and that. But let me tell you something. Hell is a real place. Heaven and the presence of God is a real place. And when a person leave here, when they, um, what's what some people say pass on, some people say transition, because when a person in Christ, they'll never see death, because death is actually separation from God. Um, but when the person transition who's in Christ, Paul said to be absent from the body and the presence of the Lord. So I believe Paul. Versus people who got a messed up interpretation of the word of God. Um, and also in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. It said, and as it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. So I believe the word of God. Um, even with Lazarus, you know, in the rich man. People said well, that was just a parable. But one thing about Jesus with his parables. When he taught a parable. You know, he didn't really use names like that, but he used those people names. You know, he told what happened. So I really believe in my heart that's that's not just a parable. That's truth. That's that truly happened. So when you, you know what I'm saying, you die in Christ, like Paul said, be asked from the body of the prince of the Lord. And those who die in their sin, they're, that's where they're going. They're going to hell to be tormented until that day when they be brought back up at the great white throne judgment the word of god said woe to the to be to the one who who basically gets up at the second resurrection so you know everybody got their their mindset about but i'm gonna believe the word but what i want to say was that it's time out for playing and we need to receive jesus christ if you know the way then you need to receive christ you need to receive him while he's still knocking because there's gonna be a time and a point where he's gonna stop knocking you know and when if you got blood running warm through your through your veins and you haven't received Jesus Christ, you need to receive him now because today is the day of salvation. Jesus Christ, God came here. Jesus can give you life. Man had death. Man was totally separated from God, and because of Jesus Christ, He made a way for us to be back in fellowship with the Father. So you know, regardless of what people are saying, I believe the Word of God, and you know. It just, it's just a shame for people to live their whole life, you know, and God get them time to repent. That's why they live. That's why they're still here. Because it's God's will that no man should perish. So that's why, you know, he haven't came back yet. He's waiting because he wants the gospel to be preaching all the earth. But people, it's, I mean, just imagine. It's like went to sleep last night and never thought that she would die. You know, so we don't know when we're going to leave here. We shouldn't just get saved because we don't want... You know, the main thing is we don't want to be separated from God. But there's a will that God wants. He wants to live out, you know what I'm saying, His the will of God in our life, you know, to get other believers saved. So I just tell people, people, if you don't know Jesus Christ, receive Him today. Receive Him today because you, don't know, you do not know what tomorrow is going to bring. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You know, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. And please, people, if you're a believer in Christ, tell somebody about Jesus Christ. You out in the street, you tell somebody, tell somebody Jesus loves them. You in, you in the grocery store, pass somebody, you at the, at the, however God moved you to do it. Share the good news, people, because God ain't, if he didn't make a way for us to get saved, to keep it to ourselves. Oh, they believe what they believe, so I'm going to believe what I believe. That's not Bible. That's not biblical. And that's an unfaithful servant. To be a believer in Jesus Christ and you don't tell nobody about Jesus. That's crazy. So there's no excuse. Stop being unfaithful. Stop being disobedient. And remember, like I said, thanks for subscribing to my channel. And remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, he loves you. God bless.